Okay. All right, 7 News covered today's event from start to finish. We had live team coverage from Texas to Maine. But there's just no better location <laughs> than to watch from the National Mall. Pretty amazing. And that is where our J Corp watched this spectacular event unfold with, I'm sure, a couple friends by you. Hi, Jay. Indeed, Megan and Michelle, what a beautiful day. Perfect weather to see a partial solar eclipse. Wish I could have seen the full. Uh, you know, I've been down here uh, countless times along the National Mall to see major moments in history. And I got to tell you, this is a first for me. Um, literally thousands and thousands of people simultaneously feeling a sense of awe. I heard there's an eclipse happening, so I thought I'd come down to the National Mall, and there's a lot of people here, so it's really fun to be here. Thousands of science lovers stream down to the National Mall Monday. What do you see in there? To witness a near total solar eclipse. The sun is eclipsed by the moon, and what we see is just the rim of the sun. Beth Crownover with the Smithsonian's Air and Space Museum is among those coordinating an eclipse festival. You can look right here. Coinciding with this rare celestial event. We're hosting a festival celebrating the total solar eclipse, which will hit at least this area between 2 and 4 p.m., um, the height of it being about 320. In this cosmic coincidence, the moon blankets most of the sun for a brief few moments. A lot of people talk about it as kind of the hair standing on the back of their neck. This unique skyward tree, according to science, is due to the moon and Earth's elliptical orbiting patterns and the fact that, amazingly, the moon is 400 times smaller than the sun, the Earth 400 times away from the sun. Everybody can engage in it. All you have to do is look up. That's <laughs> okay, it's an old phone. <laughs> this is Earth. And then the time came to savor our solar system Motion. Amazing. Yeah, I've never seen it before, so this is truly spectacular. Wow. Wow. There's something very cool about this being a shared experience with thousands of other people. In the end, we cover our eyes to open our senses, to see the world and beyond in the rarest of light. To me, this is just a reminder of how, how incredibly precious the fact that we're alive and be able to, able to, to perceive this and appreciate it and recognize our place in all of this, um, that's, that's what makes life so precious. And this is a reminder of that. You know, during the 1979 uh, solar eclipse, I was only 11 years old and I didn't fully appreciate the science. I think I have a little better sense of that now. And I have to tell you, for the sun, the moon, and the earth to all align perfectly to put on a show for us, really, I'm quite grateful along with thousands of others here along the National Mall. In the nation's capital, I'm Jay Korf for 7 News.